a slot machine was the was the analogy where we can uh, click the button and we get a whole new screen and maybe we like it, maybe we don't. Welcome to this episode of Help Me Understand with Dr. Thomas Jeffrey. I would appreciate it if you would subscribe and I would like to hear your comments. Here's a comment from the Penguinator, I believe. I think there is a point to be made about the user experience of AI image generators, especially models like Midjourney feel a bit like using a slot machine at the casino. They are instantly gratifying and even addictive, which I think is worth taking a closer look at. Calling them tools is a bit reductive. They are an entire entertainment medium. Well, I'm not sure, let me, let me if they're not tools, what are they? They can be instantly gratifying and, and even addictive, as most of technology is. We're using technology in a lot of ways that are not good. And I don't mean that from all, uh, there's a lot of nefarious stuff going on there, but simply stated from this observation that it's nothing more than a casino game. A slot machine was the, was the analogy where we can uh, click the button and we get a whole new screen and maybe we like it, maybe we don't. Part of the point that uh, some of these users are making is like art is meant to be enjoyed, not a, not just used as a, a, a entertainment in particular. So going back to your entertainment medium, um, those tools, those tools of entertainment are meant for us to not think about anything other than what's in front of us right now. Catman4605, thanks for this video. I'm glad I'm not the only one cautious about the future. We must enact AI laws. Right on. <laughs> well, uh, thanks for your support and, and, and thank you for uh, sharing your comment. And I would rather err on the side of caution. I, w I would rather that than us have a free-for-all where, as it turns out, that wasn't such a good idea. Thanks for your comment, and I appreciate being a subscriber. And speaking of subscription, of subscribing, uh, please take a moment, and if you uh, enjoy the videos, subscribe, comment, uh, and, and share the link. Sitchell22 has a comment. My biggest concern in all of this progress is actually not only the step, quote unquote, forward, but also the people whom are doing it or, quote unquote, making this possible. The rich former hedge fund manager's intentions. This tech isn't being developed to only see this bright, quote unquote, side, but probably only because of money. The cynical side of me says, yeah, it's all about the money. And in fact, a lot of the world around us is all about the money. The idea that whoever gets there first wins it all, I think there's something to be said about that. I think there's, there's a lot to, from a moral and ethical point of view, uh, as we think about the, um, the impact that AI is going to have on all, of, on all of society, is having on all of society. I don't think that all the people developing AI are concentrating on how they're going to rule the world. Now, the people who are hiring them to do the AI, I think they have their eye on, on the prize. But I think a lot of these folks probably, I mean, if we just say basically good people like you and I, are probably just enthused and, and uh, engaged with doing something that's, you know, from a technology point of view, is new and uh, innovative and could change the world and is changing the world, the medical field alone is ripe with so many things. I mean, uh, an, a comment uh, uh, that we read earlier talked about why can't we cure cancer? Well, they are, pe um, well, they're trying. They're putting AI to work. There are many, many good things. Let's not, though, forget that the, the power, that's why I'm so interested in, in researching AI, is the power that it, that it has needs to be addressed and needs to be thought about.